So this is Lords of Vegas. Take a look. It's set up just like Las Vegas is in real life, except it doesn't have usually all these dice all over it, but we'll get to that. So let me walk you through what's going on in this game. So here you can see we have Las Vegas laid out with the strip down the center and various blocks around it. And you can see the blocks have dice on them with prices and you can see right now that some of them have these little chips on them. They're called parking lots. They represent you own that space and nobody can take it from you. But immediately when you put down a casino on the board, well, all of a sudden, everybody wants it. Take a look on the outside of the board. You can see the scoring track. Now you'll notice it ha doesn't have all the numbers on it. Early on in the game, having nice small casinos, little one point casinos is great. But as you'll notice on the outside of the board here, sometimes you have to make two points at a time, or three points, or four points. So those early casinos, those one tile casinos, they're just not as good over time. You're gonna have to make them bigger. You can do that in two ways. You can join them up with uh, other properties that you've gotten through legitimate means, or you can sprawl into neighboring spaces and just hope you get to keep them over the course of the game. Because when you sprawl, there's a bit of terror that occurs. That card still exists in the game. And if somebody else draws it, they kick your die out of the casino. It's like you paved the road for them and they just drove up and took it from you. If more than one player has dice in a casino, that's when it gets really interesting you can try to take over somebody else's casino. One way to do that is to reorganize it. You pay the number of pips in millions of dollars and you can reroll all the dice in the casino. Sometimes your dime will come up on top and then you'll be the boss of the casino. Another way to take over a casino is to remodel. You might have a neighboring casino that's brown and your opponent has a nice, big, juicy purple casino. Well, you can change your casino to purple and then all of a sudden, if you have the highest die, you're the boss of the whole thing. If you have the up expansion, you can expand in a different way. You can build up. That involves putting tiles underneath your main tiles. Those are called risers. And the more risers you have, the more points you score when the card of that color comes up. In addition, it makes it harder for other people to take over your casino. They have to build up to your level before they can try to merge with your casino. So a lot of Euro games, you see people just sort of staring at the board, contemplating in silence, not trying to give anything away. Not in Lords of Vegas. In Lords of Vegas, everybody is constantly laughing and talking, pointing and complaining and blaming. That's the game. The game is all about trying to put yourself in the mindset of a high roller in Vegas and just channeling your emotions. You wanna make sure you're in the best possible position. You need to create the best casinos in the most strategic places and not set yourself up for failure because other players will take advantage of it right away. So that's Lords of Vegas. I hope you're gonna have fun playing it. Please back the campaign if you can. Thanks again. So this is Lords of Vegas. Uh, you can see it's set up exactly like Lords of... <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> right.